What can we learn no right now in 10 minutes that will be useful for the rest of our life? Percentage is interchangeable. 8% of 25 is hard to do in your head, but 25% of 8 is easy, and they both equal the same. Works every time. How to properly breathe. Normally we take shallow breaths into our chest. However, if we actually take just 10 minutes out of every day to focus on our breath and breathe down into our abdomen, we will actually begin to relax and feel so much nicer. Suddenly things like meditation become easier, you become more aware of the here and now. Emotions are much more available to deal with and process, among many physical benefits. All just building on the simple act of breathing properly. How to spot someone legit drowning. It looks nothing like the movies. Head will be barely above water, with mouth bobbing slightly in and out of the water, opening and closing like a fish would. Probably won't see their hands, because they'll be moving wildly underwater, they won't be making much sound, if at all, they'll have glassy eyes with a faraway stare. All this adds up to a very non-Hollywood look that we're all used to. This person looks calm in the water because their amygdala has taken over and they are on autopilot to simply stay alive. This is one of the reasons why they don't speak. Speech isn't important at this point, so their brain shuts it down. This is also why it's extremely dangerous to personally engage a drowning person. They will drown you to save themselves and probably have no recollection of doing it. Always use a long pole, rope, flotation device, or something else onto which they can grab. How to unclog a toilet using an expedient bucket flush. Situation. You have just taken a dump at someone else's place and due to either the sheer volume of crap or using too much TP, you've clogged the toilet when attempting to flush. There is no plunger in sight. You don't want to risk a second flush overflow and make a bad situation worse. Mission. Unclog the toilet and leave the bathroom with honor. Execution. Look around for the small trash can. Take out the garbage liner if present. If not already on, turn on exhaust fan. Fill the can with water from the bathtub faucet. Open faucet discreetly as to minimize noise. In one continuous and smooth pour, direct the water toward the hole of the toilet. The steady downpour will break up and push the clog and begin the siphon effect. The toilet will flush, but will leave a measly quantity of water. Flush the toilet to get rid of any stragglers. Replace can liner and can. Ensure shower curtain goes back to original position. Wash hands, turn off exhaust fan and walk out with confidence. Administration and logistics. The small garbage can is the most obvious choice, but may not be available. Be resourceful and look for any containers of opportunity. Females tend to keep containers under the vanity. Command and signal. After proper execution, ensure no trace of the technique is present. This means no drips of water, displaced containers or disturbed surroundings. A professional leaves no traces obfuscate questions about the running tub. If challenged, ask the inquisitor if he she was listening to you shit. That will end the conversation. Go ahead and try it. You're welcome. How to recognize a stroke. It could save a life one day. Face, ask them to smile. Is one side of their face drooping? Arms, ask them to lift both arms. Is one arm drifting downwards? Speech, ask them to repeat a simple phrase. Is their speech slurred? Time, if you see any of these signs, then get help immediately. A stroke happens when blood is cut off from part of the brain, and symptoms can appear even 24 hours in advance. It is fatal if unattended, so be aware. Survivorship bias. The key example is every time you hear about Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg dropping out of college and becoming billionaire. So it should make sense for people to drop out of college and found their tech startup. That's a horrible idea. To understand, back in WW2, they were trying to figure out where planes should be reinforced. So they marked on a diagram where all the bullet holes were on the planes that returned safely from missions. The initial thought was to reinforce the places where the holes were until somebody pointed out that those holes were in the planes that made it back safely. Planes with holes in the other areas that were not marked on the diagram did not return safely, so they should reinforce those areas instead. This applies to music too. When people watch Guardians of the Galaxy and moan about how the 70s had much better music, they don't realize that only the good stuff has survived till now. The shitty, repetitive tunes have been forgotten and filtered out through time. 
corny as hell but, learning to say, no? Some people find it almost impossible to say that tiny word. There are a bunch of YouTube videos on it. Seriously, saying, no, sometimes in your life will make it a lot easier. Doing these two things will immediately improve the quality of your life. 1. Don't take things personally. 2. Assume the best in people. Whenever someone is tailgating me or speeding, I just assume that their wife is about to give birth at a hospital. If a woman, I guess the husband is pregnant? The NATO phonetic alphabet. Because spelling out words over a shitty line can cause mistakes. All I know is M as in Mansi. My name starts with M. Sometimes when I spell my name to people they ask, N as in Nancy? I'm always so tempted to say no M as in Mansi. My name is Perry. Terry? With a T as in turtle? No. Perry? With a P as in pterodactyl. When screwing the left pedal onto a bicycle the thread is reversed. So left is tighter and right is looser. I worked at a bike shop over the summer. A few times people came and saying they couldn't get the left pedal off no matter how hard they twisted. They were making it tighter. Salting your pasta while boiling them results in delicious pasta, which brings out the flavor of whatever sauce you're going to use on them. Basic sewing skills. Running stitch, back stitch and whip stitch, and how to sew on a button. If you're really ambitious and have slightly longer than 10 minutes, how to put in a zipper and how to rehem something. Even if you only learn a few basics you can fix most quick clothing issues. There's nothing worse than a button popping off of your only clean shirt when you're in a rush and have no way of fixing it. Also, keep a few needles threaded with a few inches of black and white thread and any other color you wear often so that when you find a small busted seam or a button has popped off, you don't have to try and thread a needle in a rush to fix it. How to tie a tie applies both for those who have to wear them and those who can help tie one for someone else. If you have computer data that is very important then don't store it on one place, keep at least one backup on a computer that will never see the light of the internet so if by chance a massive ransomware attack comes by, you don't potentially lose money and a lot of hours of work. 3 to 1 rule. 3 backups in 2 places, at least one off-site. The quick way to convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius, subtract 30 and have it, or for Celsius to Fahrenheit, double it and add 30. It's not absolutely precise but it gets you to within a degree or two and makes life easier when looking at weather forecasts and recipes etc in other countries, or when talking to my mother about the temperature. Take 10 minutes and make a recipe list with corresponding groceries. You will save a ton of money on food this week, and actually like the things you're eating. Eventually, it'll become a habit and you'll thank yourself when you're eating food you actually like want to eat every day at work and save a ton of money. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. Unless you are screwing the left pedal of a bicycle. If you bump into an asshole in the morning, you bumped into an asshole. If you bump into assholes all day, you're the asshole. Life-saving hacks. 1. Never go up or down the stairs with your hands in your pockets. This is simply a recipe for disaster. If your hands are free you may have a chance to balance. 2. If you're attacked in your home, try your hardest to get to the kitchen. There are tons of potential hiding spots and weapons like knives and forks. 3. If you know there's an explosive nearby that may go off, keep your mouth open. This may allow pressure resulting from a shock wave to flow through your body and not damage internal organs. Odd yes but true. 4. Know your body's endurance limits based on the rule of three. Based on a number of studies, the average person can survive within these parameters. Three minutes without air. Three days without water. Three weeks without food. 5. Carry a powerful flashlight with you at all times. A flashlight is a very effective weapon, personal safety experts say. If you fear you are being stalked and are in danger of an ambush from a suspicious person, Simply shine your flashlight into their face to disorient them so you can make your escape. 6. Keep moving. Take it from Muhammad Ali. The hardest target is a moving target. If you're able to keep moving, you can make things pretty hard for your attacker. 7. Longer batteries. If you don't have the right batteries for vital devices such as a radio or flashlight, you can use shorter batteries by simply balling up some aluminum foil to fill the gap in the battery slot. 8. Never eat snow. 
When lost in a cold, snowy terrain, don't eat the snow to hydrate yourself. Eating snow might cause hypothermia. Instead, melt the snow first and then drink it. 9. Crayon Candles Crayons can serve as candles. Don't remove the paper wrapping, however, because it acts as the candle wick enabling the crayon to burn. 10. Watch Compass If you get lost, you can use your watch as a compass. In the Northern Hemisphere, align the hour hand with the sun. The point halfway between the hour hand and the number 12 will be south. In Southern Hemisphere, align the number 12 with the sun. What useful thing can be learned in 10 minutes? Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one.